Hi, this is Julie Campbell with Two Peas in a Bucket, and today I have another Finally Friday card tutorial for you today. We'll be making a holiday card, and I have a few basic supplies. I went ahead and made an A2 size card base, and A2 size is basically just four and a quarter inch wide by five and a half inches long. Um, and then I also have a standard parcel tag, and then I went ahead and cut a circle from, um, this is Amy Tangerine by American Crafts fabric paper in a chevron pattern. So we got some basic elements here and what we're going to do, we're first going to adhere our large fabric circle. And the cool thing about this paper, fabric paper, is that it has a backing. You can go ahead and just peel that backing right off and it has adhesive already on the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that on our card. And you might notice that I created this card so that the circle extends beyond the basic um, card edges. And since there is some light tack here on the back of this circle, um, what I'll do after I'm finished making my card, I'll just use a little bit of baby powder and just lightly brush that along the sides. And that will take off any of the stick that's remaining. So now that we have this, um, I'm going to go ahead and start working with our parcel tag. I have some black and white baker's twine. And let's see, I don't need quite that much. So I'm just going to fold this in half and put it through the hole in our parcel tag. And then I'll just go ahead and snip those ends there. And at this point we can go ahead and adhere the tag to the card. And I just noticed, I really don't like the um, chevron paper peeking through the little hole in the parcel tag. So I'm just going to gently lift this portion and see if I can just trim a little bit of this off. It looks like the adhesive is strong. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Alright, I'm just going to snip a little of this off the top. See if that took care of. Make sure I've got this centered here. Okay, that looks better. Okay, now we're ready to create a sentiment for our holiday card. And I'm going to just begin with this is a little chipboard tag that is by Studio Calico. Um, I created a sentiment on my computer, and I went ahead and printed that out onto textured cream cardstock. Um, and the font that I used is called Import Label, and you can find that, it's a free font at dafont.com. Um, so I just typed out the words, printed that directly from my computer, and from that point um, I just trimmed around each of the words um, of the sentiment, just leaving a very small cream border around the edges. I liked this font because it does look like an old time label maker. Okay, just to save time I went ahead and cut those out and I ran those through my Xeron. Um, this is a sticker maker. It makes everything very easy. If you have very small um, cut out parts that you'd like to add to a project, sometimes it's hard to adhere them without having any adhesive seep through the edges. So that's why I really like this tiny tool. You just place um, whatever you want to be adhered through the little machine and you pull the sticker through and it will only put the adhesive on the back of your elements and then you can tear that right off. So basically that's what we have so far right here. So I'm just going to remove the protective covering. Okay, and now we're going to bring in um, another element into our project. 
Um, I pulled out a couple of little wooden houses. This is from Studio Calico's wood veneer um, set. That it comes with lots of different types of houses, shapes, and sizes. So I just pulled out a couple that I liked. And the sentiment that we're going to create is there's no place like home for the holidays. So that's why I went ahead and um, went with these little wooden houses because I wanted to represent, represent the word home um, using this uh, classic home icon. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and adhere um, this, this taller house onto my chipboard tag. And you can do this lots of different ways. I'm just... I'm um, going to put a little hot glue on the back. And adhere that right there. Okay, um, now we are going to start placing some of the other uh, words here. Actually, start placing words here. Um, so we're going to start... I'm just going to quickly place those on here. Okay, so now we have There's No Place Like Home. Um, and then for the word four, I thought it would just be kind of fun to use the number four instead. And so I'm going to show you a little trick here. Um, I wanted the number four to stand out, so I am just going to adhere it onto one of the more plain wooden veneer homes. And it's a little bit long for that, so I'm just going to trim the excess. And let's see. I think I'm going to sand the edges just a little bit. Let me see if I can find one of my little nail files here. I like to sand whenever um, I'm adhering to something thick like this. It just makes the area that I trimmed, it makes it a perfect fit. Okay. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to adhere the number four onto the back of our tag. So I'm just going to place a little bit more glue on the roof here. And I'm just going to place that on the back side of our tag, covering up the roof. So now you no longer see the roof portion. Alright, um, and now we are going to go ahead and adhere this portion of the tag, on, or I'm sorry, um, this portion of the sentiment onto our tag. So um, I have some foam squares here. I'm just going to place those on the back of our little tag. So that gives it some fun dimension. And then we're just going to finish up our sentiment here. Okay, for the final step of our card, um, I decided I wanted to put a couple of little black rhinestones on the top edge of our card here, just to give it a little more visual impact. And there you have it, there's our finished card. I hope you've enjoyed this Finally Friday card tutorial. Mm -hmm.